Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be going over the very basics of After Effects. And when I say basic, I mean really basic stuff for beginners that have never used After Effects before and that are possibly opening it for the very first time. I'll go over some really simple techniques on how to animate a title for a movie and render it and then use it in a video editing program like Final Cut or Adobe Premiere or Vegas or whatever you're using for editing. So when you first launch After Effects you'll notice this welcome screen pops up. Uh, if you've accidentally disabled this and closed it out because you didn't want to see the tip of the day, no problem. If you didn't, you would simply click New Composition and that will bring up your composition settings. Uh, for those people that jumped the gun and disabled that closed it out and it are stuck on this screen no problem you'll notice though it's not like most programs when you click file new and click new project it pretty much stays the same uh, with After Effects you actually have to go to composition and choose new composition uh, this will bring up your composition settings uh, I'm editing a title for HD video that was shot on a Canon camera at 29.9 frames per second at full HD. Uh, you'll probably want to use the setting most frequently uh, unless you shot it in 720. No problem if you need to change it to 720 or any other setting that's in here just simply select it by the drop down menu. Uh, my frame rate is 29.9 uh, my title animation here is going to be 10 seconds so I'm going to change this to 10 seconds. Uh, if it did need to be 11 no problem you can simply just type in whatever you want right here uh, if you want it to be 1 minute and 10 seconds, no problem. 2 minutes, 10 seconds, no problem. Uh, again, we're doing just a 10 second video here, and my background color is going to be black. You can simply click that to change it to any color you want. You can even do it in pink if you like. We're still going with black, though. Select that, hit OK. So, there you go. Composition is set up for full HD, 29.9 frames per second. So, to add some text to a video or a movie to do some titles, you just simply click on your text tool here, and wherever you want your text to appear on the screen, click with your mouse and uh, type in your titles. Now, if you want to change the font, you can do that by selecting whatever font you want. Uh, we're just going to go with this one here because it's well, it's ready to go. Uh, you can make it bold. You can make it uh, you know whatever you want. Play around with it. We're just going to do some bold titles right here. You can change the color. Make it whatever color you want. We're just going to do white today. Uh, size change the size of it. Uh, I'll also show you how to change the size later on so it's not necessary that it needs to be whatever size you're going to make it. So once you're done typing click on the arrow over here your selection tool and this will allow you to move the title uh, anywhere you want on the screen. Uh, if you're trying to position it in the dead center of the screen and you'll notice that there are no guidelines set up you can come down here and uh, choose title action safe that'll bring up the dead center for you so you can kind of position your text right there in the middle uh, if you really really need some extra assistance proportional grid might help uh, and you can change that however you like um, so there you go that's in the very dead center of the screen now from here you'll notice that you're kind of just again stuck like how does it move, how do I get it to fade in and out, so to do that everything is located right down here. See this little arrow? Click on that and then you'll notice transform. Once you click on transform a drop down menu will appear and this is where you can edit pretty much everything, all the parameters for this title. Uh, you have opacity which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have rotation scale, size of the thing, uh, the position on the screen where it's going to be, uh, and the anchor point. 
and one of the most frustrating things with the title or with text in After Effects is it puts the anchor point right here in the bottom left corner by default and if you notice when you scale it it's scaling it from that point and also when you rotate and also when you rotate it does the same thing to adjust the anchor point is really simple actually uh, there's two ways to do it you can right click on the, the actual text and choose transform and choose anchor point and this will bring up a little uh, box and you can just kind of move this over until it's pretty much in the middle and uh, a little target helps you helps you line it up hit OK and uh, you'll notice now that your anchor point is pretty much in the middle there you go now you also notice that sometimes it's kinda hard to adjust this accurately with your mouse and sliding it so if you don't if you can't quite get it back to zero or you know if you're having a hard time getting it to 180 or 90 so you highlight it type in whatever number you like and hit enter pretty simple All right, so once you have your uh, title in, in the place you want it and you want to start animating it uh, just simply come down here to your timeline and uh, we want this one to do just a simple fade in and fade out over the course of 10 seconds so uh, we're gonna set our opacity at 0 and our timeline our time slider here at 0 on the timeline uh, you're gonna click this stopwatch here it'll set a keyframe right there at the very beginning and over the course of two seconds we want it to go from 0 to 100 percent so simply drag it over to 100 percent or you could highlight it type 100% hit enter and you'll notice it puts a keyframe in there for you right there so you'll notice bam fades in over two seconds and now uh, let's say you want it to start fading out at eight seconds so from here to here you want it to be 100% so you'll click not the stopwatch which will actually delete the, next, the last two keyframes you added so if you accidentally do that just hit control Z it'll bring them back up that's undo and uh, you're going to want to click this uh, little diamond over here that adds a keyframe at the current location. Move it over two seconds to 10 and then drag it back down to zero or highlight it and type zero. And you'll notice that the title will fade out over the course of those two seconds. So that's pretty much how you do a fade in and fade out. To do uh, another type of title animation like have it scroll in from the top to the bottom here it's uh, pretty easy to do you can uh, simply just move it up to where you want it to start or with your position uh, here you know you can move it into position by dragging it with the uh, with your mouse uh, you put it off the screen right there at zero click the stopwatch it adds a keyframe and now over the course of uh, 10 seconds we want that title to come down and come off the screen so you simply just drag that over and you can also do it manually with your mouse uh, you'll notice that it goes wherever you put it so if you want to uh, start up here and come and go off the screen over here that's just as easy to do you'll notice it automatically puts a keyframe over there for you and your title is doing its thing over there if you don't like it you can simply put it wherever you want it and uh, there it is you're good to go you can also have uh, you could have it fade in too uh, a little bit. You can set the opacity at zero over the course of two seconds, have it fade in. Uh, that kind of gives you that fade in effect. Uh, you can actually have it start fading in as well at one second just by simply dragging the keyframe over. And uh, there it starts to fade in at one second. Uh, now, same thing if you want it to spin, you uh, simply click the uh, stopwatch there, it adds a keyframe. You can move it over to like let's say three seconds and you want it to do like one, two, or three full rotations. Uh, you can simply drag it like that and it will go to 360 and put a one right there. Or you can just type in one, two, or three and hit enter. And you'll notice that that will spin three times before it stops. 
Okay, so let's say you're happy with that and, and you want to actually use it for your video. Um, you would simply render it by clicking composition and make movie. Now this will bring up your render queue down here. Uh, to change the settings, it's really simple. Uh, if you don't change these settings, it will do it at extremely high quality and uh, a 10 second uh, title animation like this will end up being like a gig in size and it's just way too big for most uh, it's ad and not, it won't work. So change that, super simple. Choose uh, whatever you want it to be here. Uh, I usually render it a H.264 MPEG-4 and uh, if you want to you know, simply call it something else, change that no problem and uh, click render and uh, it usually goes pretty quick depending on how uh, complex the scene is uh, and how fast your computer is and uh, in no time at all you'll have your title done so uh, there you go that's pretty much the basics there for After Effects so uh, just remember you know to start a new composition it's pretty simple to use your uh, you know, animation time timeline here is really simple stuff by adding keyframes. Uh, you can actually add multiple uh, objects and have them animated as well. Yeah, it's nothing that After Effects can't handle. You'll notice it put another uh, thing down here in your timeline, and uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to uh, have something else animated. So there you go. Uh, another thing I get asked a lot too is uh, like the my logo, I want to animate my logo and it's a JPEG or you know I don't that font, it's not quite the font for my logo blah 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 blah. If you have your logo done in a JPEG format, it's really easy to import a JPEG and drag it over to the timeline and uh, animate that. Just uh, right click over here in your project window and choose import file. Find the file on the computer. It'll bring it in. Simply uh, click on it here and just drag it into uh, your screen and uh, there you go it puts it on the timeline for you uh, you can pretty much edit and animate it just like your text here just transform uh, transform the opacity the scale the position and the anchor point on it just like you did your text and you can do that with any photograph you could do a slideshow photograph slideshow like this you can do uh, you know quite a bit of different things with photographs and after effects as well uh, and there's also ways you can animate Photoshop layers in After Effects. And I have a tutorial on that as well. So if you need to uh, have this, uh, let's say, fade in and out, no problem. Just uh, add a keyframe, move your time slider, have it fade in. And uh, you'll notice it's actually on top of those other titles. And that's because it's sitting on the timeline on top. I can drag it down to the bottom here. Now it's the background layer. And those go right over it. Which is handy if you know you need to have it your titles revealed on top of that. So uh, there you go. Um, that's pretty much it. And again to render, no problem. Just go to make movie. It's really simple. Brings up your render queue. Bam, there you go. So there it is. Uh, Hope that helps out for beginners. Uh, check out my uh, YouTube channel for more After Effects tutorials. Uh, have a good day.